Today, we're going to talk about the questions you shouldn't be asking on the internet. Hello, I'm Grant, and I'm here with... Christina. And we're trying to live forever. We lost over 500 pounds using the gastro bypass together, and uh, today we're going to try to give you some tools and resources so you can have some good results for yourself also long term. Today we're going to talk about the questions you shouldn't be asking on the internet. Um, if any of you have been on the internet on Facebook or any of the pages, I don't know how aggravating it is to me and Miss Christina. Agreed? Yes. It. I'm five weeks out. Can I have this? I'm three weeks out. Can I have that? Asking for... All you're doing is asking for someone to give you permission in print to do something stupid. Agreed? Yes. Because, I mean... Basically, you know, you put in the work to have this surgery to make your life bitter, better, sorry, and you're wanting to live longer and healthier, and you're wanting to basically have the, an example, you're wanting to have popcorn. Seriously? You know, it is not that important to eat that kind of stuff to make it's not that important. I mean, come on. You just went through surgery. You got put under, had somebody go in your abdomen and rearrange your plumbing. <sighs> and as soon as you get, catch your breath, you're on the internet looking for someone to give you permission to do something you know you're not supposed to do. Or give you justification why you want, why you sh why you can't eat it. Um, and say, yeah, go ahead. I did it. So you should be able to. Just because that person can could eat it and they didn't have a problem doesn't mean that you can eat it and not have an issue. Or they should have eaten it in the first place. Right. Because, you know, example, you know, you know, he can't uh, eat a salad. I can, you oh, know. Yeah, it's, everybody is different. Uh, I, I can't do fibrous vegetables. She can eat salads all day long. I can't. Right. And to this day, he can't. I can. You know, but... For people to sit there and ask not long after they've had surgery to eat stuff that, you know... They know they're not supposed that to. they know is not time-wise um, great. Stop going on the internet and asking, asking for permission. For justification and why you can you should be able to do it. It's, it's not right. It's not right. It's not a good practice. Yeah. Do what the doctor said. That's the one thing that me and Christina can say that we did is we followed the doctor's orders to the letter. Now, the, the other end of ours is it was long ago, enough ago that we didn't have the internet and 500 different opinions telling us what to do. We had the doctor's orders. It was very regimented. And I think because of that, we've had a very good result over all these years. Yeah. If <sighs> that was one of the good things about it is that we didn't have the internet. I think we were better off for it. Yes, we were very much so. We didn't have so many opinions to go back to. And, and this is all said, maybe it's because we're parents and, uh, and grandparents, but this is all said not out of anger or meanness this is we want to see everybody succeed at this but you're doing things 
to hamper yourself. You're doing things to shoot yourself down. You're doing things that are good in the long run are going to lead to bad things. And we see it from a mile away. We see it every day from a mile away. We're, just don't go down that path. Follow the doctor's orders. If you have a question about when you can eat something, ask your doctor. Don't ask your some person you don't know from halfway across the country on a Facebook page. Okay, that's not where you need to get your information from. Or your answer to your question of whether or not I should or shouldn't. That is not the place you need to go. Yeah. Definitely. Your provider is the first person that you need to ask. Or whatever. Um, or your group, your support group. Well, no, that's what we're if, talking about. We're if, talking about the no, online I mean, support groups. The, the support group that were, or the nutritional group that, Nutritionist. That, that you had to go through before you went to have the surgery. Because apparently that's one of the things that nowadays has to be done before you have the Y or the gastric. Yeah, all we did is we went to this little meeting, drove three hours, had an hour-long meeting, mm -hmm. drove three hours back, got our dates, uh, got the hotel room the night before, and um, two days later got out of the hospital. I mean... Yeah. That's a whole different ball game now. It's a whole different ball game now. So there's a lot of pitfalls out there, kiddos. Lots of pitfalls. And getting permission to do something you know you're not supposed to do on the internet is one of them. Please, please, please do not start down that path. Because it's going to be nothing but trouble. Agreed? Yes. All right. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, help support this channel. You all have a great day. Because great day today can mean what? Better, Better day, day tomorrow. tomorrow. Y'all be good.